tropical storm, putting on your snowshoes and going out into the woods is one of the great pleasures of winter. Rich Parisio is on to something. We've joined him at the Stony Kill Environmental Education Center in Dutchess County for a snowshoe walk in the woods and a search for signs of wildlife. Oh, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. What yeah do we, we don't have to go too far. One of the things that I like to do... Oh, is that a bunny track? Well, you know, before we even worry about what, <laughs> what it is, we first guess? thing to do is really just look at it and just think about the animal. How large an animal could this be? You know, what do you think, a large animal? No. Small animal? Small. It's not a hippo. And which way do you, not a hippopotamus? It's going that way. Okay, is it going in this direction? Yes. Okay. That's well, that's, my guess. That's a really good guess because you, you all, might almost think that we're going the other way because the hind feet, you see the, the tracks, oh, right, the, the sure. principally the hind Sometimes feet are in reverse. front, Hoof, yeah. in front of the front feet. So it looks like it's going the other way except that this track is made by an animal that hops, and it's not a rabbit. Snowshoe. So, another, so your next guess might, might have to do with the fact that the tracks lead to a tree. And if, it, if a tra you know, think of an animal that goes from one tree Squirrel. to another tree, squirrels. We no. soon discover that squirrels aren't the only critters hopping around in this woodlot. Oh, yeah. Colleen and Tim, if you want to come over and... And look at these tracks, you'll see that they're a lot like the, the tracks we saw up ahead, and they're going which direction? They're which, headed towards the other squirrel. Kind of back the way we came. Right. But if you look, you'll see that the two front feet, the two prints made by the front feet, are, are kind of in a line. So it looks like the letter Y. Mm -hmm. And those are typical of the eastern cottontail, cottontail rabbit. And we do have them, you know, at the edge of the woods here, coming into the woods a little bit. And they, of course, the first animal you think of when you think of an animal that hops is it would be a rabbit. Footprints aren't the only signs of life in the forest. Wow, Here's a tree that, that people look at and think something's wrong with this tree. Yeah. But this is a shag bark hickory tree, and this is the way... This is the way this tree is supposed to look. This is really what I like to think of as a natural bird feeder. Uh, Nuthatches and black-capped chickadees, birds like that, that are here in the winter and active, will come and look for things under the bark. And a lot of times, if I go around, and you can try this too, and look underneath panels of bark, I can find spider cocoons, right. like here, you see, like a little silken sleeping bag that spiders make sure. for themselves and to spend the winter. Chick that would be a nice little lunchtime snack for a chickadee yeah. or a nuthatch. So, you know, we don't want to pull the, the piece of the bark off. So like that's skin. really That's kind of like the skin of the tree, right. and it's also, a, it's also, it eliminates that kind of natural bird feeder effect. Speaking of bird feeders, winter birds are feeding in the backyard of Stony Kill's visitor center. They provide a spark of color in the snow-white winter landscape. A lot of chickadees, sometimes house finches, mm -hmm. uh, nut hatches, uh, and these are all the resident winter birds. So if you really wanted to start learning to identify birds or start bird watching, the winter is probably the easiest time to do it because you've only got a few species to focus on. From wintering birds in flight to fresh tracks in newly fallen snow, winter is a perfect time to discover many of nature's wonders in the Great Empire State Outdoors. Well, 